Hey yo, what's good? It's Jonah Goodman here to talk boxing. Why David Benavidez beats Caleb Plant? One of my reasons for believing this comes from Canelo favoring David Benavidez to beat Plant. Uh, I think Benavides. Ah, uh, because he's more strong, younger. Uh, so I think Benavides. I tell everybody you're gonna beat people in a rematch. I respect him. He's a great champion. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, he favors David Benavides to beat Plants. Many people regard Canelo as the pound for pound best. He shared a ring with Caleb Plant, so he's aware of his strengths and weaknesses. Bear in mind, people, that Canelo does not rate Benavidez's skill set highly. The other reason I believe David Benavidez is going to win is his mentality. Let's first take into consideration he already has the natural size. And he has the youth over Caleb Plant. Benavides is 26 years old. He's in the early stages of his prime, whereas Caleb is 30 years old, in the middle to late stages of his prime. Benavides is hungry for this fight. Make no mistake, the man came in at 166 pounds. This may be the lightest of his career. For those who don't know, this is a fight at super middleweight with a with a with it, and <laughs> Forgive me. At 168 pounds. In UK, that's about 70, I don't know, 75 kg. Benavides has a track record of coming in overweight. So, you know, he previously he was previously stripped of his title. So, you know, the bad blood and the rivalry is there. So you know him coming at 166, he's taking the fight seriously. And he's under a lot of delusion. You know, he's under no delusion that his opposition has been low. So this indicates to me that Caleb, he sees Caleb as a worthy opponent and respects his skill set. Not only do I believe that David Benavides is going to win, but I also believe he's going to outwill Caleb Plant. The reason I say this goes back to the Canelo fight with Caleb Plant. In this fight, Caleb held his own. It was clear that Plant was out of his league. He was keeping Canelo at bay, controlling the distance. No doubt, his skill set is certified, and he's no doubt a talented fighter. But as soon as Canelo took the fight to him, applying that pressure, landing in them, landing them hard, stiff body shots imposing his will and when you impose your will on a fighter you stop them from doing what they want to do by doing what you want to do Canelo imposed his will so much on this on Caleb Plant that Caleb Plant started to question his own ability in the ring As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, he wasn't taunting Canelo. He was, he was begging for reassurance. You know, he was asking Canelo, "Listen, my skills are not working against you. I, I need to know am I a good fighter? Because you're pounding the heck out of my belly, and I can feel them shots now. I'm starting to feel it. So, Canelo, I need to ask you a question. While, you know, we're on pay-per-view time." And you're digging me out from all these people. Am I a pretty good fighter? 
he was asking him and you don't ask you don't say to Canelo when you're in the ring with him am I a pretty good fighter you know that's that's a sign that you know that, that belly them body shots are getting to you you know them body shots are hurting you and then David Benavides catches him like in that kind of regard where he's talking and he's like listen man like, you're pretty good and I, I didn't know like he's gonna capitalize on that he's gonna know yeah he's he he don't he don't want it he don't want them shots you know them shots are getting to him and he's gonna capitalize on that going back to the slide when David Benavides doesn't respect your power like he's gonna close the distance like he's gonna start throwing combinations he's gonna start breaking you down round by round Benavides is like the bigger version of Canelo. Maybe on the technical side he lacks, but he's got like the vo- them volume punches, and you know he may lack a little bit of power, but you know he's gonna come apply pressure. He's gonna come and apply consistent pressure, and he's gonna get stronger as the rounds go by. Benavides has a kind of fighting style that doesn't care about your skill. His skill, his style cares about your guts, your confidence, your heart, your will, how badly you want it, when your gum shows are falling out and you're gasping for air and you know you're looking at the big clock to see how much time there is in the round, Benavides has a style to beat the fight out of you, we're going to find out today, but as soon as, as soon as the fight gets in the later rounds, We know Caleb might, he might try and survive, you know, you know, in the Canelo fight, when it was getting to 10 to 11, it was clear to see that he was trying to weigh it out until the 12th round, but as you know, that did not work, so if Caleb Plant goes in that, goes in there with David Benavides with that same mentality, You might as well get a pillow and a blanket because it's bedtime. You know, after that, he's gonna he's gonna take a nice cozy nap on the floor. You know what I'm saying? And I expect this fight to end before eight. But if Caleb is stubborn and doesn't want to go down, I'm saying ten. If it goes after eight rounds, this is when Caleb plants heart. He's you know his engine. You know it's gonna be tested. His engine's gonna betray him at some point. Then his skills gonna betray him, and then all he has then is his mental fortitude. How badly he wants to win this fight. If he's not prepared to go into this ring and go out like Wilder did in the third fight with Fury, then he's in for a long night. He has to dig deep because I've seen in the media workouts he's been making those taunts. He's been taunting. Those great. Oh, I'm gonna dig. I'm gonna dig. He's digging his own grave. You know, he's he's making them taunts. You know, he's doing them signs, he's doing them gestures, like he's gonna about to. He's about to pit Benavides in the dirt. But listen, when them body shots land, I want him to remember. You're meant to be digging. You're meant to be digging. Remember, you mean dig deep, because when them body shots land, that's when the fight is gonna be a different story. And you know what, you can't just run up on Benavides and start, you know, doing your own thing. Because, you know, this is like, Benavides is the juggernaut in this fight. You know, he's the juggernaut. You know, you know, it's like um, playing Modern Warfare 3 and you're in survival mode. And you're like, you're, going, you're running up to the juggernaut. You start shooting, you're about in wave 22. So you know the juggernauts start coming around, <laughs> coming around, you know, they're walking you down. You know, you start using your last bullets, but next thing you know, you're on the ground. You know, you're looking for that survival kick. You're looking for that <laughs> that revival kick to kick in. You're like, man, if you're lucky, if you're on two-player mode, but you know, the, the the your boxing coach can't fight for you. You know, they can't help. You. All they can do is tell you, listen, just you know, da 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 da. But it's not gonna it's not gonna help you when you're getting your skull ratted. And you're getting hit in the body. It's gonna feel like, man, why are they talking? I'm getting hit up like, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, 
Benavidez is like three drugs in one. So he needs to figure out how am I going to win. And I think he's going to win by either running. And you can run, but you can't hide. Or he's going to try and set traps. Because that's the only way you can beat a juggernaut. The only way you can beat a juggernaut is to set traps. You know, you need to set traps. You need to get them landmines. And Modern Warfare 3, you need to start setting them around the location. And then you need to let the juggernaut walk into those shots. Let the juggernaut walk into those landmines. And then boom. So if he sets traps for, for Benavides, it could be hard for Benavides. But eventually, like I said, you know, David Benavides is free juggernauts. And you know when you get free juggernauts, it, it's a different story. You know, you know, you, you, only, you only have uh, the option to just like, you know, just take the pounding. Or just let, let them throw in the towel. Hey yo, it's Jonah Goodman. Thanks for watching. Shout out to my family. Shout out to my friends, they know who they are. Shout out to Hatman Strikes Back, Boxing Bros, The YB, and Bruce Fane. It's Jonah Goodman. I'm out.